in this video, I'm changing over a tap, a mixer tap, which does your hot and cold in one tap, changing it to a tap with an inline filter, so an inbuilt filter to filter the water, so you can get filtered drinking water. So here, I'm going to take off the old tap, I'm going to undo the two nuts underneath. It is a little tricky as there is limited space underneath, but there is on this one there is two two nuts take off and a special tool to undo them. And once they're starting to come off, you do need to hold the mixer tap to stop it from spinning. So it's quite tricky if you have someone else there with you to hold the tap, it can be handy. So once that's out, you want to install the hoses to the tap itself. So your hot and cold mixer tap extensions that go from your tap to your mains water or water tank, hot water tank. You wanna make sure these are nice and firm because once it's installed, it is very hard to get these tight. So at this stage, you make sure they're tight. Rubber seal that goes on top of the sink, just under the tap.
and there is a rubber seal brass washer and spacer and nut underneath the sink which can be tricky to get to as a limited space and need to hold the tap at the same time so it's literally one hand of operation to get the rubber seal brass washer and nut all in place So once that's all up, you need to grab your special tool out again and tighten it up. You don't want to tighten this too much because you can distort that rubber washer too much, which can make it leak. You want to tighten up just enough so it is firm, so no water can leak down under your sink and cause damage to the timber under there. Now, once that's all tight, I like to do a double check, make sure everything's at that stage is done up correct. Now you want to double check over the parts you've got. So your filter, hose, and all the connections to know what goes where. Then you want to undo your existing hoses from your main water, tank water, or hot water tank. So you've got the hose, flexible hose moving, and you've got some movement to allow you to easily install all your fittings. Now these are push fittings. So I have a little ring you can push in to get the fitting off, which is sometimes quite tight. Once they are off, you can set your fittings how you how they should go. So your hot cold to cold, which is usually blue, blue pipe and blue markings on your mixer tap extensions and the red to what this one was in this caravan was a white hose so that extra little plastic connection goes to the mixer tap for your filtered drinking water so you want to make sure that is nice and tight 
you don't want to over tighten any plastic fittings because they can be prone to breaking quite easily as opposed to brass fittings. So once you've got those connected, I'm gonna push on your T-piece because we're having cold water go to two different connections. So you push on your T-piece, connect up your little extension, cold water extension, and push them in. Now you wanna push them in quite firmly. You may hear a little click, but push it in firm so you know it is seated and will not leak. Now, the hot hose was only a fraction short. So I had to make a, an extra extension off my hot hose coming from the water tank. Just a short little section to connect it up so I had room to move it so it wasn't gonna kink so easily. Now, once you've connected all that up, check the positioning of your hoses to make sure they line up. If you can line them up with the existing holes that are already there in the timber, great, cover them. If you can't, do some extra hot, make some extra holes, screw, it, screw them back in again, just to keep them all back neat and tidy. Once that's done, you can connect up your filter, coming out of the filter to your uh, tap. So to that middle line of your tap. You can also connect to your T-piece, to the main water or your tank water. So it goes through the filter. And make sure it is going through as an arrow points. And once that's all done, you want to check everything, make sure everything is seated properly and connected fully. Turn on your water slowly, so if it does leak, turn it off quickly. And it's not going to cause too many leaks or too much water spraying out. And if there is, just check your fittings, re even redo fittings, take them off, redo them again. Just to make sure that everything Seat it, you seat it correctly and it's not leaking. Once you're happy with that, you're good to go.